Hey, it's Brickzar, and it is time for... Yes, that's right. It is time for bat. Bat questions, bat answers. Or is that bad answers? So, Brickzar answer thingy. I have a list of a ton of questions. I am not going to answer them all. I've printed them out. Uh, to kind of help me keep track of them easier, and I'm after I answer a few of them, I'll just erase them from my list, and I will try to shout out to the correct people with uh, cor correct pronunciation of your YouTube name. But I will copy and paste your question and your YouTube name. And it'll be in the description to blo below uh, if you want to check that out. And I got a bunch of questions, but like I said, I'll just do a few. And I'm going to start with the Unstoppable Builder. It's all one word, the Unstoppable Builder. He asked a couple of questions. Uh, actually, no, this is in re reference to when I, I lost my sig fig. So that's not, not, that one wasn't a question. But his fat question is this. Are you going to Brick Fair, New Hampshire? No, I'm not. I really would like to. And if everything goes good this year... I want to try to go to at least three or so of these brick fairs or conventions. I mean, there's so many conventions around. Uh, I'd like to go to one in Chicago, one out west in Washington. Uh, I'd like to go, I really like to go to New Hampshire, just because I, I really haven't stopped in New Hampshire. I think I drove a bus across it once. And But if I did go, I would take a mock. I would take as much as I could carry uh, to set up any brick show. Brick fair, I keep saying brick show. Any brick fair that I go to, I will take a mock. And I have an idea for a vintage thing I want to do, similar to what Andy Bell did with the 6000 idea book. So, no, I probably won't unless circumstances change because I, I need the time off. Oh, where's They Might Be Bricks? He's not here. In case you're wondering, uh, uh, he's sick, so he won't be joining me. And he's, he's the one that really makes these work because he, he always catches me when I say the wrong thing. So anyway, next question, Kevin F. Check him out. I think some people call themselves one thing on their channel. I think you're the original minifig. I can't remember. But anyway, Kevin F. asks, Bat question. What set that you currently don't own is highest on your wish list? It's still set 810, although set 367 is up there. Lego 360 official, here you go again. It's okay. He says, Bat, this is a good question. When Lego went bankrupt in 2003, do you remember it? What happened? I was more concerned about why are they changing from old gray to bluish gray? Old dark gray to new dark bluish gray. Why are they changing brown to reddish brown? What happened to pink? That was our concerns back then. Bankrupt bankruptcy is highly overrated. But uh yeah, they had a they went through a dark period there in the late nineties. Star Wars thing kinda helped them out, but um I don't really I didn't really follow that, the business in. I know they were still putting sets out, so it, that's all that mattered. But the, yeah, the, the question from 2003-2004 was the uh, change of color, uh, which I, I guess in the long term, it worked out for LEGO. Now, Bricks on the Dollar asked, Hey, Batman, I have a question for you. How is Brick Czar's favorite figs coming along? You caught me. That's terribly. <laughs> I got two figures in the case. And I am very slow about adding figures. I, I'm trying to not put things in there just haphazardly. Like, ooh, I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Um, hopefully now that things are settling down, I'll get that going. And put some of my favorite figs in there. So, it's yeah, I only got two of the 15 that I want to put in there. And Lego Boy 1624. Wait a minute. Maybe Lego Boy 16. Sometimes I, well, the way I copy these, he asks, and maybe just Lego Boy, I don't know. He asks, what got you into slot cars, and how big is your collection of slot cars, tracks, other accessories? I've always liked slot cars. Uh, we used to pick them up at yard sales. My 
sister, my older sister, knew that I liked them, and people would give them away. You know, once people outgrew them, they didn't want them anymore. So I got a lot for free. I had a massive layout or amount of track that I could lay it out in the living room. And I don't know what happened to all that. I don't know if my mom threw it out or if it got sold at a yard sale. Um, all those original tracks I had are gone. But I have enough to fill up the living room now with Tyco type track. Um, I like the Carrera, and I'm starting to get into that. I'm just not ready to unleash They Might Be Bricks on it because he doesn't seem to mind if the cars go off the track, and I do because... That makes them break, but um, that's not that'll be stuff that's on my other channel. I just, you know, as, as a coincidence, I just happened to pick up a car today, another car, and I got. If you watch my other channel, which not many people do, I have the Dukes of Hazard slot car set that we want to review as soon as I clear out of space to do it. Slot car, and I got one that'll work. It's a new one. I wanted to get the old one to work, but the cars are um, still needing to be repaired. But I have a bunch of Tyco track tracks with a loop. I got a few of the cliffhanger tracks. I don't have the cliffhanger cars. I don't think uh, it's just I just buy used stuff all the time. It's only this year, past couple of years that I've been buying anything new. And my favorite track piece. Sorry, this isn't really a Lego question, but it's the uh, where the train crosses the slot car track. So if you check out. Uh, Brickzars, Basement and Beyond, you'll see the slot car stuff. And one more question from Mr. Sam Go Go Go. It says, Bat, your house is on fire and you save everything and everyone, but you can only save one Lego set. What set would you save? <clears throat> That's what insurance is for. <laughs> I don't think I'd be worried about getting any Lego set if the house was on fire. But if I could only take one set with me, regardless of fire or sinking boat. Hmm. I would probably take something that's worth a lot, that would be harder to replace. Um, like one of my town plan sets. Or... I don't know. It ain't worth... It, I tell you, if the house is on fire... It's not worth taking any of them, so I could take the um, castle castle set there. Um, that's a good question. What what set would you take? It had to be a set I already have. Um, the set the the sculptures would be easy to take. I just grab the Statue of Liberty and take it out. I mean, that's you know taking two thousand dollars right there. So um, yeah, I'd probably take the Statue of Liberty since it's probably my most valuable set but if the house is on fire i'm not gonna be worried about it so anyway that's that's some good questions we'll stop there and now we'll do our lego element daily segment where we show you a piece and this came up with brick stackers when he was doing a um uh, the lone ranger set the silver mine shootout i think it was and it had a piece that not this not this piece but a piece like it only i think not as wide everybody knows if you've been collecting Lego a long time, what these are. They have part numbers just like all the other parts, but nobody calls them uh, by the official names, which I don't even know what the official name is. This is part 6082. Oh, it's a burp. If I had, they might be bricks here. I could get them to burp for me. But B-U-R-P, big, ugly, rock piece. Big, ugly, rock piece. It's great for building mountains. Uh, you'll see some of these at, even at uh, brick fairs and things like that, But because um, you can build a big mountain rel relatively quickly. Uh, some purists thought maybe it's like cheating because it's such a big element. Um, I've gone, I used to not like them when they first came out, but I don't, I'm indifferent to it now, but that's the big uh, ugly rock piece, 6082. This was in the old dark gray. So, I don't have any in my store. I keep all of them that I have. So, that's that's interesting. I just said some negative things about it, yet I never sell one. I keep all the ones that I get. Uh, they might be bricks as always finding a use for them. So, cause I, I, I know that because I have a box I keep them in, and the box is always 
has less in it than the last time I saw it. I don't know what he does with them. So anyway, thanks for watching this Brickzar answer thingy and keep the questions coming. I got these. I got two months worth of questions here. It seems like, but um, I'll try to do about five an episode. So catch you next time. This is Brickzar.